New this morning, Pennsylvania received a failing grade in this year's State of Tobacco Control Report. It was recently released by the American Lung Association. For the seventh year in a row, the Commonwealth was given an F when it comes to tobacco prevention and control programming funding. The state also ranked low in several other areas, and this morning, we're breaking down the numbers. Unsealed at midnight, the ALA reveals that Pennsylvania once again falls short when it comes to regulations for tobacco products. The annual State of Tobacco report grades each state on an A to F scale based on the state and federal policies that have shown the ability to prevent and reduce tobacco use. They look at tobacco prevention and funding to help people quit, smoke-free air policies, tobacco taxes, access to services that help people kick their habit, and the regulation of flavored tobacco products. For 2024, the Commonwealth is putting $16 million towards funding for tobacco control programs. The CDC recommends that number should be around $140 million. The recommendation takes into consideration the $1.5 billion in tobacco-related revenue the state generates, so the ALA gives PA an F here. When it comes to the state's smoking restrictions, the Keystone State has many buildings that prohibit smoking. But the lack of regulation at bars, casinos, and restaurants is why the Lung Association gives the Keystone State a D in smoke-free air policy. Right now, there is a $2.60 tax for a pack of 20 cigarettes. Now, that is above the current national average for $1.91. But when you consider that states with the highest grades are well above $3 and add in a lack of a tax on e-cigarettes, that's how PA winds up with a failing grade in this category. The grading system for access to services that help people quit using tobacco products looks at state Medicaid coverage and state employee insurance plans that cover these treatments. They also look at the investment per smoker into counseling for quitting tobacco. While the report shows that Medicaid and state health care plans cover most care and have few barriers to coverage, the American Lung Association finds PA spends $1.51, while the median investment per smoker is $1.93. And that earns Pennsylvania a D here. Lastly, with no state law or regulation on flavored tobacco products, Pennsylvania fails that category and ends up with an overall failing grade across the board. Now, there are three things that the report lists to help PA improve its grade, and that includes preserving state funding for wide-ranging tobacco prevention and controls programs and closing loopholes in the state's Clean Indoor Air Act. They're also recommending ending the sale of all flavored tobacco products, including menthol.